how good are you at picking yarns from the 2000s? <laughs> I have got a giant bag here that my friend gave me, and none of them are old enough to be vintage, but I've been crocheting for probably about five or six years, and none of, there's one in here um, that I'm familiar with. So if you are interested in seeing what this is, I can't wait to open it with you. I guess technically this is Happy Mail, but it was hand delivered. So I'm going to go ahead and put this as like a gift haul. My friend, um, who I sometimes refer to as my crochet tutor, um, is doing some de-stashing and I frequently get to be the very fortunate recipient of things she wants to de-stash. So I thought it would be kind of fun. I couldn't wait. I did have to dig in and see what was in here. But I thought it would be kind of fun to see if you were familiar with these and let's check out this okay. haul. So what's super fun about this is um, some of these have labels on them and some don't. So I thought it would be the perfect chance to maybe um, have a little fun with this um, since I do know the answers to these questions. Um, this red yarn right here comes in a five ounce ball and I believe it is classified a four weight. It is an acrylic polyester blend. Do you think you know what it is? Here's the one with the label. Bernat Soft Boucle. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, if I am wrong, that is just fine. Um, this is really soft. It is much smaller than um, like the uh, homespun. Um, but this is really great um, and she gave me two of them here and they appeared this appears to be a full um, skein of it machine washable and dryable and um, what do we have here how many yards you guys I looked at this for so long and I cannot figure out where the yardage on this there's a lot of tiny print I do feel like labels have gotten a lot better as far as um, user friendliness um, but I've got two of these. The color is Richest Red, and I thought this um, would make a really fun Christmas garment. So I probably won't get to it this year, but I'm going to end up putting this in my Christmas yarn stash because I think it will be great for that. Here is the second one. This one looks like my friend started it and kind of wound it back up because she did not like it. It is the same as the last, the Bernat Soft Boucle. And um, this one is not as soft as the red. I will definitely say that. Um, this color is the big blue. And um, this was, I don't think I mentioned it on the other one, this one was made in Canada. And I did find, finally find on here, it is 255 yards. So this is a fun project. I, this to me seems more of like, Possibly I might use it for like a baby blanket project because I do have two full skeins of that. This next one I am totally familiar with, but I can tell by the label that it is um, a little bit older. Um, I'll let you see this side of it right here. I think this is going to be an ear warmer project right here. So if you did not guess already, it is homespun. Um, but this is, um, this says it's made in the USA and the color is Corinthian and it's 185 yards and again it seems like a full skein that maybe my friend pulled a little bit off there and didn't like it and wound it back up um, but it's a very pretty purple color. Um, so yeah I'm thinking ear warmer project for this one. This next one is super fun, um, and there are two skeins of this. Again, one without label and one with label. It is pretty soft, to be honest. Um, maybe that will give you a clue what it is. Um, but it is like this light blue color, and it's not a tweed. Um, I don't know if you would call it almost like more speckled, but it's a four weight. It's acrylic, and it has like white... Um, pink and a dark green speckle. Do you know what it is? It is Red Heart 
Fiesta. So I had not seen this before. Um, it is definitely not being made currently. I did Google it. You can find like ones on eBay if you wanted. Um, but it says mix and match with Super Saver. Six ounces, um, acrylic and nylon, washable, dryable. Um, you can always tell when something's a little bit older when it says like moth proof and color fast. Um, so it seems to be about the same as a super saver, but it does have the fun, um, I don't know, tweedy, speckly look to it. And this color is light periwinkle. And I don't know if it says or if I'm finding how many yards are in here, but it doesn't really matter. It's like I said, pretty much the same as a super saver. So that is really pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Uh, but I'm excited to use it and it's definitely, um, especially for being a little bit older, definitely softer. So it could definitely do a wearable, like maybe a fun hat scarf set. So this next yarn does not have a label, um, but I do actually know what this one is. Um, it is very pretty. It's an acrylic and wool blend and it's got a few different colors here. Let me know if you know what it is or if you recognize it. Um, it is actually what I made this hat out of. So this is Red Heart Boutique Treasures and um, she had given me the same one prior. So they must have been in different spots in her stash um, and she probably didn't know she had two of it. Um, but she has a hard time working with wool. Um, so that is why I got this, but I absolutely love it. I think it's really pretty. I actually have a video um, I can link right up here um, talking about the yarn so you can see all the specs since I can't tell you offhand. And um, also the pattern I use. The pattern was one from Olga Paltova and I really love this hat pattern. I recently did a video um, with the fluffy butt alpaca yarn where I did a bunch of them in this same pattern. So I absolutely love it. Um, and you can definitely check that out up here. So I'm just going to grab this next one and get organized here. Um, but if you like this type of stuff, I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, I just try to have fun and talk about yarn and crochet a lot on this channel. So definitely subscribe if that is what you are into. So this next one here, um, there are four of them two different colors. One of them has a label. So what I'm going to do is one of these is about a half a skein. So here they are. It's a yellow and a very light blue. It is like a, a terry cloth and um, they are definitely smaller skeins right here, but very soft, that terry feeling. Um, I would say, you know, they probably classified it as a four weight, but it's definitely, um, you know, thinner. They're just saying that because of the halo with the terry claw. Do you have any guesses? This one looks um, maybe a little bit more 2000s, um, judging by the label. So let me know. Do you have a guess what this is? All right. So it is Red Heart Baby Terry right here. So it's only three ounces of the terry cloth yarn, so it's a little bit smaller skein. Um, again, they're making it difficult for me to find the yardage. Maybe it is under this sticker right here. Um, but this does say that it is um, washer and dryer safe. It is an acrylic nylon blend. Um, so with the colors, um, this pale yellow and the blue, um, and there's just, there's about a skein and a half of the blue and two skeins of the yellow. I don't think there's really enough for a baby project, but I thought these might be nice for like real furry, um, winter headbands, like not Christmassy, but like maybe just do some that are blue and just some that are the light yellow. Um, I don't know. I thought maybe like a braided ear warmer situation um, might be kind of neat because these are super duper soft. I love them. So if you are new here, um, I have been working on putting a uh, blog together 
um, and it is shannontalksyarn.com. So I only have a couple posts up, but I would love it if you would pop over there when you get a chance. And if you want to sign up for my emails, um, I do some kind of fun um, things right there. I'm actually just about to send out my first newsletter. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed to that already. And please be looking around Thanksgiving um, for um, an email coming out. And I've got some like free printables in there and also um, I will have like a couple like exclusive um, digital downloads to anyone on my email list. Um, I've got one yarn left here and there is one, two, three without a label and then one with a label. So let me pull this up here. Um, there's definitely one where she pulled it out and then wound it back up. It's like the cutest nope. <laughs> um, so here is the skein. So it is a chenille. And I am guessing this is probably classified as a five or six weight. I don't think it's a six weight, but you know how sometimes yarn companies like to overstate the, the thickness of the yarn? Um, I think it would probably work up more like a five than a six, um, but it's this very pretty, um, like pale blue, periwinkle blue um, type of color. So that being said, velvet chenille yarn, thicker, five or six weight, this shape of skein, you have any guesses what it is? It's one I haven't heard of. Lion brand uh, chenille thick and quick. I mean, of course I've heard of like the different lion brand thick and quicks before, but I haven't seen this one. And so again, the package makes me think it's a little more 2000s-y. Um, perfect for luxurious fashions, afghans and throws. The color is called Bluebell and it does say, <laughs> that's like they're selling it as a benefit, hand washable. Um, so it is acrylic rayon blend and there are a hundred yards in um, every skein. So I do have 400 yards of this. Um, I love chenille yarn. I really do. I don't know what to make out of this with 400. Um, I could definitely do like a baby blanket, but you probably want those to be a little more durable and not necessarily a hand wash situation. Um, I mean, I could definitely do like a, a really nice cozy scarf. That might be my best bet. I think I'm gonna plan on a scarf, but if you can think of something else to do with a five weight chenille yarn in the color Bluebell, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. You guys, look at that. That is a great haul right there, isn't it? Thank you so much for joining me. I had a lot of fun um, looking through these and I would be curious, please let me know if you know any of these yarns or if you had any in your stash, I would be super curious to find out. I am gonna go ahead and put this in my playlist that I'll have right up here. And if you did enjoy this, I think you would enjoy this playlist too. It's a bunch of other hauls that I have, but thank you guys for talking yarn with me.